All right, fellas, today we're gonna check out how to make this really cool Xerox photocopy effect here in After Effects, inspired from one of my tutorials in Photoshop. I'm also gonna leave that in the description. For the composition size, it's gonna be 1080p, 25 frame per second, five second black background, click OK. And I'm gonna drag and drop the subject. I'm gonna click somewhere here to deselect the layer and I'm gonna double click on the rectangle to fill up the page, drag the rectangle under the footage. Let's select both, right click. Let's go with pre-compose. This is gonna be the footage, click OK. And now what we're gonna need to do is select the rotoscope. All you need to do is just double click on the image right here and as you can see if i bring this here we have another panel so i'm going to drag this to the right so basically here you can work with the rotoscope and i'm going to go here to the brush dimension increase it a little bit more i'm going to try it out with like 24. so let's take a look i'm going to select the model and as you can see it is going to try to rotoscope it and highlight it so in my situation, this is not an easy task. So I'm gonna decrease the brush quite a bit because we got a lot of hair going on and it might not do the best job, but I'm gonna bring it back here. So we're gonna need to start from the very beginning. So now as you can see, it's selected it pretty good. And the main point is to check the full video. And in these situations, for example, you can go and rotoscope the rest of the hairs, for example, and it's gonna do it automatically. And then if you got like areas like these, you can press and hold Alt and just deselect those areas. But you also can select the subject with more simple hair. So when you go here, I'm gonna drag this panel on the left. You can see it did rotoscope pretty good. You also can go here to the rotoscope options, reduce chatter, you can add a little bit. Maybe it's gonna make it more smoother. You also got the shift edge, I'm gonna decrease that. So it's gonna remove the edge. I'm gonna leave it as it is. So let's go down here to the layer, click somewhere here to deselect, and double click on the rectangle again. Now here, make sure that the stroke is on none. Click OK, and I'm gonna go to the fill. I selected the red, click OK, and drag the shape layer under the footage. I'm also gonna exit this panel. All right, so finally I managed to rotoscope the living hell out of it. So for example, these are my options, the shift edge minus 14, and pretty much these are the settings, but it's gonna be custom for everybody. All right, so after that, I'm gonna click on the X on this panel and drag this one here. And next, what we're gonna need to do is go to effects and presets, search for grain, drag and drop the grain under the rotoscope. Let's go to preview, change it to final output. Here, I'm gonna increase the intensity a little bit more. Maybe I'm gonna go with 1.9. And let's search for the threshold and drag and drop it under the add grain. And here, you can go and change up the levels. So I'm gonna decrease it or increase it, and this way you can adjust the contrast. To adjust it even better, you can go to the effects and presets search for curve, and drag it in between the add grain and the rotoscope. And then here I'm gonna adjust the contrast a little bit better and tweak it to look even cleaner. Now also if you wanna remove these anti-aliasings, you can go and drop a fast box blur. I'm gonna double click on it, let's scroll down, and here I'm gonna add Point one. So this is gonna make it a little bit more blurry. So pretty much that's how I make a Xerox photocopy effect here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.